In this Quixel Mixer tutorial for beginners, you will learn how to make stylized desert cliffs in Quixel Mixer. The link to download Quixel Mixer is in the description. I'll start by making a very simple desert floor. The first step is to add a solid layer to the layer stack and change the albedo color. I'm using the hex code 9B5230. I use opacity mask for the blend type. I add a second solid layer and change the albedo color to a darker version of the base color. I use the hex code 733D24. I right click on the layer and choose add mask stack. For the mask component, I choose a Perlin noise. I change the seed, which is the iterations of the different versions of the noise. I change the amplitude or intensity of the noise. And I also change the frequency or amount of the noise. I duplicate the noise layer. And I change the albedo color to a lighter color. I'm using the hex code A55B38. Then I change the seed. And the frequency. And I also changed the octaves to control the finer irregularities. I duplicate the second noise layer and change the albedo to an even lighter color. I use the hex code B96942. And I change the seed. I add a second Perlin noise and change the blend mode to multiply. I then change the seed and the frequency. And I change the octaves. And the persistence, which is the amplitude of the octaves. I then select all of the layers and use Ctrl G to add them to a group. And I rename the group ground. Now that the desert floor is complete, I can move on to the cliffs. I add a solid layer to the layer stack and change the albedo color to a reddish brown color using the hex code BF5938. I use the blend setting from below. I change the threshold I also change the radius and the preserved details. I right click on the layer and choose add mask stack. For the mask component, I choose the whirly one. I change the seed, the amplitude, and the frequency. I also change the octaves, the lacunarity, which is the frequency of the octaves, and the persistence. I duplicate the rock layer and change the albedo to a slightly lighter color. I use the hex code C96. Or four two. 
I changed the blend to from above. I open up the mask. And I change the seed and the frequency. I also change the octaves, the lacunarity, and the persistence. I add a new solid layer for the cavity of the rock and change the albedo color to a lighter reddish brown color. I use the hex code D88C72. I add a curvature map and use edges only. I use underline mix and I change the tightness, which is the number of sampled edges. And I change the levels, which is the range of edge information to modify. I then export the maps. In Blender, I add a plane and I scale it up. In edit mode, I subdivide the plane. I then add a displace modifier with a cloud texture. And then I adjust the strength. And under shading, I add all of my textures. If you found this useful, please subscribe and turn on notifications. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.